Hi, and welcome back to another What's in the Box episode. I'm Jody Gladuski with St. Bronislava Parish, and my helper today is Emma. Emma, we're going to start right away with What's in the Box. We'll pull out items and then discuss a theme of what we want to learn about today. A calendar. Looks like you have a calendar and I marked it up a little bit. It looks like we're gonna talk about something that's happening next week. Maybe we'll find some items to discover what story, the story is gonna be about. A poem. A poem? Let me hold that for a second. Wow, a big poem, hmm. I wonder who used these in the olden days, even like 2,000 years ago. I wonder what else is there. And a rope. And a rope. Well, I think long time ago, Jesus and his friends, his disciples, went to Jerusalem. They made a journey. And upon arriving at Jerusalem, he asked his friends to take a rope and go find a donkey. Do you know the rest of that story for that day? I remember that they brought a donkey back to Jesus. He wrote it. And then there were people with palms in the village and in the city of Jerusalem. What were they doing with him? Hosanna, Hosanna, hail the king. Yeah, Jesus really is a king, isn't he? Yes, we learned that story a long time ago, too. Let's see. I think they were there for Sunday. And then what about Monday and Tuesday? What was happening on Monday and Tuesday? I bet you they were just doing some touring around Jerusalem and they made their way to the temple. The temple that has a prayer spot. It's very special. It's the Lord's house, right? So I wonder if there's an item in there that can help me tell a story what happened on their journey. Some coins in a box. Some coins in a box, and it looks like there's a cage. You know, animals were caged, and they sold a lot in the marketplace, and animals, and of course, they exchanged money. Jesus came into the marketplace and said, what to the people? Go away. Because it was a special, special prayer place, right? They were doing business that they shouldn't have done. And you know what he did? He turned over the table and everything went everywhere. It was probably pretty scary. It sure made people look and said, who is that guy? Hmm, so guess what? It's now Wednesday of a special week. We actually call that Holy Week nowadays. But long time ago in Jesus' days, on Wednesday, what can we talk about? Is there another item maybe? 30 pieces of silver. 30 pieces of silver in a bag. Let me see how heavy that is. Wow. I bet you this was worth a lot of money back then, right? Who actually got this bag? Who took this bag? Emma? Judas. Judas, yeah. He thought this was worth more than his friend's Jesus. Yeah. So that day, long time ago, when Jesus actually made a deal, that Judas made a deal with some guys to turn over Jesus. They call that Spy Wednesday, long time ago. Let's go move on to the next day, Thursday of Holy Week. We got a big item coming out. What's this? A bowl and a towel. Do you have any questions? Why is there? Why is there a bowl and a towel? Well, did you know that Thursday of Holy Week that Jesus and his friends went up to the upper room and they had a meal together? But before they ate, Jesus went to the ground in front of Peter with a bowl of water and a towel and he washed Peter's feet. What do you think Peter's feet were like? Gross, right? They didn't even have shoes in those days, just sandals. And imagine this. What if you were going to get your feet washed? 
Who would you want to wash your feet? You. Me? Like I'm a servant or something? <laughs> right? Sometimes you say you feel like a queen. Why should I, the queen, wash your feet? Because that's something we do for others. And Jesus was that way. He did wonderful things for other people. I wonder what else happened maybe at that meal. They're done washing feet. Some bread and a chalice. Oh, I wonder what happened at that meal. Do you remember what they called that meal? The Last Supper. The Last Supper. And they actually had the first mass at that meal. When they held the bread up, when Jesus held the bread up to share, do you remember what he said? Take this, eat of it. This is my body. Do you see someone holding up the bread like that at Mass? The priest. The priest does. How about the chalice? Do they also hold the chalice up? Mm -hmm. And then what do they say? Take this, all of you, and drink of it. Right, because this is my blood. That's wonderful things. The first Mass long ago happened on that Thursday with Jesus. Moving on to Friday of that week. Let's see if you can find some items that happened on that Friday. Oh, you're being careful with something. Looks like a branch of, can I see those please? But very careful, they look like sharp things, thorns. What does this remind you of? Jesus' crown. Oh, can you imagine if these crowns were in your head? That was pretty bad that they did that to him. They gave him a crown of thorns because they were mocking him saying, you think you're a king. Hmm. Anything else happen on that, that sad Friday? He died on the cross. Jesus died on the cross. That is a very beautiful crucifix. I remember my mom and dad, Grandma Judy and Grandpa Richie, having a cross like this in their wall. Look, it, it opens up. Oh, cool. Yeah. What's in there? What's in there is a candle, and they would put some oil here, and they would have the candles lit. When people were sick, these are called sick crucifixes, they would keep them in the wall, and they're there for the doctors, and the, when the priests come over, they can be blessed. Isn't that neat? These are beautiful. So Jesus died on the cross on that Friday. They put him in a tomb. The next day, all we could do was wait. What was in front of the tomb? A stone. A stone. A heavy stone. A heavy stone, maybe bigger than this? Way bigger. Way bigger, yes. And there were soldiers there that were guarding it, just in case Jesus' friends were going to come and take Jesus away. But we waited and waited. Hmm. Early Sunday morning, one week from arriving in Jerusalem. What happened? Do you remember? No. The angels came and rolled the stone away. And they discovered, the people, the Jesus' friends discovered something. The tomb was empty. It was. And you know what is so special? You know what they say? Jesus is alive. He is risen. The greatest miracle that has ever happened is that he rose from the dead. And another thing is so special that we know about Jesus and his many names is that he is the light of the world. One awesome holy week. And it's coming soon to you. And I hope you celebrate it as a family in a very special, prayerful way.